Mr. Peck, is Hollywood just about dead as the motion picture capital of the world, or is it beginning to make a comeback? <laughs> well, I hope it's not quite dead. No, I think it's been through a period of doldrums, but uh, there's a pickup in production now. I think there are lots of uh, new talents in the executive end and also in the directorial and production end. It's thanks to taken over younger men with pressure ideas, and uh, I think it's a cyclical sort of thing. We had a few lean years, but things seem to be picking up specifically now. What has been the reason for the flight of motion pictures abroad? Is it because of taxes or strictly financial reasons? Well, that's somewhat exaggerated when we call it a flight. There's still more pictures being made in Hollywood than anywhere else, although the runaway trade seems to be caught on in the press. Uh, I suppose that the tax advantages took certain stars, writers, and directors abroad. The tax advantages being that there are no taxes. Uh, personally, I think they're quite within their rights. There are people in all professions and all walks of life, Americans live abroad for the very same reason that the people usually get the press a little more prominently. And, well, I think they're within their rights as citizens and as artists and live and work wherever they please. But uh, uh, it seems that the, there's a turn back to Hollywood now. The studio where I do most of my work, of course, is as busy, I would say, as any studio as they're doing the uh, peak days of the 1940s. Getting to your own picture to kill a mockingbird, there's an organization in San Diego known as the San Diego Patriotic Society, which claims that uh, this picture would result in racial disturbances because it depicts a white lawyer representing a Negro charged with rape. Would you care to comment? Yeah, yeah that sounds rather foolish to me. Uh, I doubt that they've read the book or seen the picture. Let them see it or read it and say that afterwards. You don't think that this uh, would uh, have any element of incitement in it? It's a very thoughtful type of uh, theme. On the contrary, I believe that uh, because this book is written by a Southerner, this book is very popular in the South. Most Southerners feel that this presents their side of the problem in a light which hasn't been portrayed before. The fair-minded Southerner, the decent Southerner, uh, I'm sure those are represent the majority of Southerners, not the rabble-rousers and the brick-throwers, is portrayed uh, perhaps for the first time. And it's quite, I think, a good thing for the image of our country abroad, particularly where there are people of color, to show a white Southerner defending a black